Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aditya and today we will be discussing about snow crab population analysis using folium. So this is my Kaggle notebook in which I have coded this complete project. And this is the input file which contains the snow crab geospatial data from basically 1975 to 2018. And this is the CSV file which contains all the rows and columns and all the related data stuff which we need. So this is my first cell in which... Uh, which is basically in order to initialize this Kaggle notebook. Uh, the output which we got from here is we'll basically um, copy this and what we'll do next is we'll basically paste it here. So this is my df which is pd.read underscore csv. pd is basically the abbreviation of pandas. We have imported pandas as pd. So we will write here pd. And then we wrote read underscore csv which is basically used for reading a csv file into a data frame. So what we'll do is we'll store this CSV file in this data frame which is named as df and then using df.head we'll see a glimpse of how our database looks like. So this is how it looks like. Basically this is the latitude and this is the longitude and um, these are various uh, rows and columns like but basically what we need is we need only the latitude part and the longitude part. So we'll remove everything since we are analyzing only on the geospatial data how the population is according to geography like where is the population uh, most dense and where it is rare so what we'll do is we'll just uh, use these two latitude and longitude columns and rest will remove it so we'll create a new data frame which is df new and then we'll select only two columns one and two which are basically latitude and longitude and then we'll use reset underscore index to change this series into a data frame now we'll see how our df new data frame looks like this is the index the latitude and the longitude next uh, now we'll group our new data frame in terms of latitude and longitude so that we um, we are able to group it according to latitude and longitude and then we'll access index column and we'll count how on like um, um, which latitude and longitude has how many number of crabs present so this is what we'll do here um, and then we'll use dot reset underscore index to again convert this series into a data frame which is rush now we'll see how our rush data frame looks like so this is how it looks like um, what if we want to see um, what if we want to see uh, if our like um, if our data frame has unique values or not? So what we'll do is we'll uh, assess this index column and then we'll type unique over here and then we'll run this. So basically, what we got is we have around. Um, uh, 10540 rows and like these all values we have we have one values we have two and so on so this was just for an explanation to you like um, how we are analyzing this on the basis of geospatial data how group by works and what is the purpose of count here so next up we'll import 
heat map from folium dot plugins and we'll import folium as like we have a lot of videos on this folium library i have already explained this is the most useful library if you are performing a geospatial analysis you are dealing with latitude longitude if you are dealing with geospatial analysis then folium should be on the top of your priority list so basically what we did here is we basically created a base map using folium dot map base map is nothing but a simple world map and then we'll uh, add this heat map of rush to our base map and then we'll see how our base map looks like so if we zoom out a bit so this is the area which is on the border of the United States and Russia. So, if we zoom in a bit, um, you can see these parts have higher population of snow crabs, whereas these parts have a slightly lower population of snow crabs. If we zoom out a bit on the world map, uh, what we'll see is this is the only area where this snow crab is found or maybe we have like uh, we have the data from this place only but from this place itself what we can uh, predict is the place closer to russia has higher number of snow crabs whereas the place which is closer to the united states has a slightly lesser number of snow crabs present if we zoom in more like uh, we can like basically see each and every point like we can see each and every point each and every latitude we are able to see uh, this is a separate latitude this is a separate latitude this is a separate latitude maybe this had two crabs or three crabs present maybe this had a single crab maybe this had no crabs at all so basically this is how we perform geospatial analysis on basically the snow crab population analysis um, that's all from this video thank you for watching